Hi, I'm Hannah Wheeler. My partner Natalie couldn't be here today, so I'm going to be reading for her too. Today we'll be discussing two different artworks from two different time periods that include stylistic changes throughout the works. This first art piece is by J.M.W. Turner and is dated around 1839 during the Romantic period. It is called The Fighting Temeraire, and it is an oil-on-canvas landscape. Turner was fascinated with the 98 gunship Temeraire and the stories that came along with it. This ship has been involved in many different battles, including one of the Napoleonic Wars, where it played a key role in England's victory against Napoleon's forces. However, the ship was past its glory days and was going to be made into scraps and was going to be replaced by a better ship. And Turner used this event so that he could show the history of this marvelous sailing creature and record this sad event. And if we look into the distance, we notice a sunset, a bright, beautiful palette of warm colors that evokes a warm feeling with the viewer. There are also tones of blue, making a triangle above the two ships. I think these colors blend very well and illuminates the setting of the work. This next painting is called Gare Saint-Lazare by Claude Monet. I love this painting and it was completed around 1877, making it a late impressionist artwork. I feel like this is such a relatable scene, making Natalie think back into her own life when she rode a train in Europe and reminds me of my life when I used to live in Paris. Monet painted this when he moved to Paris, making a transition from country landscapes to an urban landscape. You could definitely see the urban landscape in this painting from the background, with the tall buildings and the chimney in detail. This location was a popular spot for Impressionist painters, and Monet lived in Argenteuil, meaning he had to take a train from Saint-Lazare to get home. Monet painted many paintings and train stations, mainly because he could vividly see the movements of the steam and the light hitting different areas of the station, creating shadows. Here's another painting that Monet painted in Gare Saint-Lazare. Monet has this light effect going on which he created by the glass roof of the station. Some places like the right side of the roof is covered in fog, giving it an ambiguous effect. Comparing the two, we can notice the changes that happened as different time periods began to influence their values on the artist. Since Turner's painting was completed during the Romantic era, his work focuses on evoking a visceral reaction from the viewer. His idea was for you to feel sad when the ship was being taken apart. Through this, Turner is able to create a painting that not only focuses on the feeling, but captures an historic moment. The two artists use different techniques in their pieces. Monet used thick, bold brushstrokes, while Turner used a palette that blends with other colors. In Gare saint Lazare, you could see the texture of the paint, and in The Fighting Temeraire, you could see the light brushstrokes in the cloud in the sky. The nature in this painting is having an effect on the viewer, which is something that romantic painters wanted to capture. If we look back at the Claude Monet painting, his work was completed around the Impressionist era, a time where photography was being experimented, and the idea of capturing a quick moment in life was represented through paintings. In Gas on Lazare, the painting has an emphasis on a quick moment. The brushstrokes in the work are blurry, creating a fuzzy feel, as though Monet quickly finished. As a similarity between the two is that they both focus on historical events, Turner's was more exact, focusing on a famous ship and its final passage. But Monet's was a part of this modernist world that was forming. Through these two paintings, you could see the changes art went through stylistically, but the main ideas seemed to stay the same.